That's done. Finished with that DNA model? I think so. Awesome! Okay, your password is WAC35NE136. WAC35NE136. Got it. Thanks. What else is going on? What's this about your stealing Leela's boyfriend? The guy asked me to Oxbro's holiday bash and I said yes. Big whoop. But he was dating Leela. It's a free country. He can date whomever he wants. Look, I don't steal boyfriends, okay? I don't have to. Guys are just naturally attracted to me. I know how conceited that sounds, but it's the truth. Leela had her chance with this guy. She couldn't cut it, so now he's into me. She's just going to have to deal with it. What do you think your chances are for making valedictorian? Chance has nothing to do with it. I deserve to be valedictorian, therefore I'm going to be valedictorian. None of the other girls deserve it? Absolutely not. Look, it's not just a matter of getting the highest grades. The faculty also looks at extracurricular activities, leadership, community service, school spirit, things I totally excel at. I'm going to be valedictorian, and then I'm going to Harvard. I've harassed you enough. See ya. Looks like Mel got another note. I'm in charge of the snack shop? This should be interesting. I don't even know where it is.
Sounds like the black cat stalking Izzy. It's open. How goes it? I called Megan Vargas. Yeah, how is she? Not great. She really misses this place. More likely she's concerned about falling behind in her schoolwork and not making valedictorian. You two are roommates, yet you don't seem to be friends. Why is that? We're just not, that's all. Do you hang out with Izzy much? I don't hang out with her at all. I can't stand her. She's so fake and vacuous. It's like talking to a mannequin. How can she be vacuous and be a valedictorian candidate? You tell me, and we'll both know. Are you friends with Leela? No, although I used to be. Of course, that was in grade school, before she got caught up in sports. Now all she thinks about is competing and winning and school spirit. Stuff I just find pathetic. Do you think she's smart? Extremely, which to me makes her descent into jockdom even sadder. Do most kids like her? I'm not a fan, but everyone else? You bet. Who do you think the black cat is? I don't do conversations on that subject, remember? Especially when it's so obvious that it's Izzy. What makes it so obvious? Izzy doesn't deserve to be valedictorian and she knows it. She also knows she'll never get into an Ivy League school unless she's valedictorian. So, she has to eliminate the competition. I'll quit bugging you. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. How's it going? Is it true you just got a second note from the black cat? No, I'm pretty sure the note I got was from Leela. It was a lame attempt to get even with me for stealing her stupid boyfriend. May I see it? Sorry, I did the same thing to it that I did to the first note. Burned it. The Missing Book of Stories by Edgar Allan Poe. Do you by any chance know where it is? Uh, no. No offense, but some of the questions you ask are kind of strange. I need to get going. Pop in any time! Looks like I need a key. What's going on? Any idea what happened to the book of Poe stories that's missing from the library? I sure don't have it. Mel, our resident goth girl, she probably does. That freak's probably working on a way to bring him back from the dead so he can autograph it. That's it for now. Hang in there. Attention, everyone. As of now, the snack shop is open. You know, I hate to admit it, but I really like calculus. No, you don't. 
No, I do. I love going to that class. Order's ready. Everybody does. Food's ready. Order up! Order up! There, all done! Whoa! Wonder what this is to? Looks like I need a key. I'm here! Hey, what's going on? I need to take your picture again, you mind? Go right ahead, fire away! Is there a problem? I better get going. Okie dokie. Hey, what's going on? I need to take your picture again, you mind? Go right ahead, fire away. I'm waiting. You okay over there? I said fire when ready. Is there a problem? You okay over there? Is there a problem? I'm waiting. You okay over there? You okay over there? I said fire when ready.
I'd better get going. Bye! Hey, what's going on? I need to take your picture again. You mind? Go right ahead. Fire away. I said fire when ready. I said fire when ready. Is there a problem? Is there a problem? I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I said fire when ready. I said fire when ready. You okay over there? Is there a problem? I'm waiting. I said fire when ready. I said fire when ready. Is there a problem? I'll check back with you later. Hang in there. What? Hey, you got everyone's picture uploaded. Sure did. Fab. Now I need you to lay out the web page. Just get back on the computer, log in, and click on the Meet the Candidates link again. It'll take you to a description of exactly where I want everything to go. What if I'd rather lay everything out my way? You can't. That would be cheating. This is my project. It's got to be done my way. I'll check the page when you're done to make sure everything's kosher. If anything's in the wrong place, I'll leave you a message describing what needs to be fixed. And once the layout is perfect, report back to me, because I'll probably have something else for you to do. I knew you were going to say that. In case I forgot to say it before, I'm really grateful for your help. Maybe someday I can return the favor. Don't worry about it. It'll be nice just having you as a friend. Right. Plagiarism? Is that true or is it just a rumor? Yeah? It's not true if that's what you want to know. So you didn't plagiarize that paper?
Of course not. I mean, I may bend the rules now and then, especially the stupid ones, but I have never cheated on a test or turned in a paper somebody else wrote, ever. Why do they think you did? Mrs. Arlington, that's my art history teacher, she matched my paper with something on Paper Trail. Paper Trail? Papertrail.edu. It's a website all the teachers here go to when they want to compare a paper that's been handed in with papers available on the internet. Students aren't supposed to know about it. Not only is it insulting that they'd think I'd cheat, but that I'd do it in such a way that I was sure to get caught? Come on, I am not that stupid. Is it true you recently got a second note from the black cat? Yeah, I got the first note the day after Megan left. If I could just get online, I could clear all this up, but I can't, and whoever this black cat person is knows it. This is just so frustrating. Unless... Becca, look, I'm not anyone's favorite person at this school. The kids, the teachers. If I get kicked out, nobody's gonna care. But I don't deserve this, and I need help. Just before the school booted me offline, I got a glimpse of the IP address of whoever posted the paper I supposedly plagiarized. I didn't get a chance to write it down, but I do remember that none of the digits in it repeated. See if you can track it down. That's all I'm asking. Could you do that, please? Yeah, I can do that. Sure. Hunting down the facts is kind of a hobby with me anyway. Here's the paper I got back from Mrs. Arlington. Just go to the academics page on the school website and look under resources for paper trail. If you enter a data source code, it'll tell you the IP address of the person who posted the paper I allegedly stole from. Thank you, Becca. Oh man, just knowing someone's on my side is a huge relief. Anyway, what's new with you? Do you by any chance have a library book called The Black Cat and Other Poe Stories? The one that's missing from the library? Sure don't. I've never been much into Edgar. He's a little over the top, even for me. Maybe I'll pop in again later. Door's always open.